I just think it's another development along the way. You know, you, there are no rock roots. The roots are in folk music and blues and whatever you listen to. Robert Plant is an English musician, singer, and songwriter. Plant's best known as Led Zeppelin's lead vocalist. His signature powerfully wide vocal range and his trademark high-pitched singing have led to Plant being regarded as one of the greatest singers in the history of rock and roll. And in 2009, a poll conducted by radio station Planet Rock named him the greatest voice in rock. Robert was named the greatest metal vocalist of all time by Hit Parader magazine in 2006, and he came in at number 15 on Rolling Stone magazine's 2008 list of the 100 greatest singers of all time. Poetry, cowboy singer. Um, so that whole Nashville, Orbison, falsetto thing's mm. really impressive. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Anthony Plant, but is also known as greatest metal vocalist of all time and Percy. He was born August 20th, 1948 in West Bromwich, England, making him 74 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.854 meters or six feet tall. His biggest influences were Elvis Presley and The Doors lead singer Jim Morrison. Plant's been a fan of the Wolverhampton Wanderers Football Club since the age of five and was named their vice president in 2009. Plant is interested in Welsh history. In the years following Led Zeppelin's breakup, Jimmy Page would not allow anyone else to sing Stairway to Heaven. Page felt that Plant was the only person who could do the song justice. He shares his birthday with Phil Lynott, the bass player and lead vocalist of Thin Lizzy. One of the oddest awards he received was from the rock scene magazine Chestorama. Readers of the magazine had to decide who had the best chest in rock and Plant was the winner. In 2020, Plant donated money towards frontline medical supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic. The money went to the GoFundMe page of a small clothing manufacturer in Kidder Minister, England that makes scrubs for local hospitals. On March 15, 2022, Plant was a guest on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs. His musical choices included I Ain't Superstitious by Howlin' Wolf and Ohio by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Plant has influenced the style of many of his contemporaries, including Getty Lee, Ann Wilson, Sammy Hagar, and later rock vocalists such as Jeff Buckley and Jack White, who imitated his performing style. Robert was married to Maureen Wilson from 1968 to 1983. The couple welcomed daughter Carmen in 1968, son Carrick in 1972, and son Logan in 1979. Sadly, Carrick passed away from a stomach virus in 1977 while Plant was on tour with Led Zeppelin. A devastated Robert wrote, All my love in tribute to his beloved son. In 2010, Plant began a relationship with singer-songwriter Patty Griffin. In a July 2012 interview with the Independent newspaper, Plant stated he eloped and ran off to Texas with Band of Joy co-vocalist American singer Patty Griffin. Plant's UK-based manager told E! News later that Plant was apparently being cheeky when he used the word eloped to describe his home life, for Robert has not married Patty Griffin. Instead, he was just referring to the fact that he's been residing in Texas with her. Fascinated by rhythm and by the scales of North Africa, you know, they're the sort of blue notes within the different scales in different countries. They split up in 2014 and Robert returned to England. He grew up with his mother, Annie, father, Robert, a civil engineer and Royal Air Force veteran, and sister, Allison, in Hales Owen, Worcestershire. Robert loved singing and music as a child and wanted to be like Elvis Presley, trying to emulate him at just 10 years old. Plant attended King Edward VI Grammar School for boys, but left in his mid-teens and became interested in blues music. At his father's behest, Robert began training to be a chartered accountant, but quit after two weeks and moved out of his parents' home at the age of 16 to attend college and explore the local blues scene. He worked for Woolworths and Hales Owen and Wimpy Construction Company in Birmingham, and he recorded three singles with CBS Records. Plant began singing with Crawling King Snakes and other bands, which led to him meeting future Led Zeppelin bandmate John Bonham, 
Robert and John were in Band of Joy together before they joined Led Zeppelin. Plant met Jimmy Page in 1968 when Page was looking for a lead singer for his band, The New Yardbirds. Jimmy asked Robert to join the band after hearing him sing Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane. The New Yardbirds later became Led Zeppelin and included Plant on lead vocals. The band signed with Atlantic Records and in 1969 they released their debut album, Led Zeppelin, which reached number 6 on the UK charts and number 10 on the US charts. They followed up their debut with eight more studio albums. They disbanded after Bonham died of pulmonary aspiration in 1980. In the decades since Bonham's passing, Plant, Page, and Jones have occasionally performed together with John's son, Jason, on drums, and Page and Plant released two albums, No Quarter and Walking into Clarksdale, and toured together in the 1990s. Robert released his first solo album, the certified platinum Pictures at 11 in 1982, and recorded five more solo albums before forming the band Strange Sensation. Robert launched Digging Deep, the Robert Plant podcast in June 2019. On each episode, he discusses a different track from his back catalog. In 2021, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss released the 12-track studio album Raise the Roof, produced by T-Bone Burnett as a follow-up to Raising Sand. Our roots and in, in North Africa and Spain to some degree, um, you get this beautiful, these musical scales that are so haunting. Plant enjoyed great success with Led Zeppelin throughout the 1970s and developed a compelling image of the charismatic rock and roll frontman, similar to his contemporaries, The Who's singer Roger Daltrey, Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, Freddie Mercury of Queen, and Jim Morrison of The Doors. Led Zeppelin sold an estimated 200 to 300 million records. Robert's most commercially successful post-Zeppelin album was 1988's Now and Zen, which went triple platinum in the US and gold in the UK. In 1982, Robert earned more than $1.5 million from the album Pictures at 11. In 1983, he earned $1.3 million from the album titled The Principle of Moments from the UK and the US Alone. The next year, he released his collaboration album titled The Honey Drippers Volume 1. This album helped him earn $1.2 million from the U.S. alone. In 2007, his collaboration album called Raising Sand helped Robert earn $1.62 million. He has a net worth of $200 million. He currently resides at Shatterford near Budley in the Wire Forest District of Worcestershire. He previously lived in a house in Monmouthshire, Wales. The house has nine bedrooms and six bathrooms, over 9,000 square feet of space. The estate is known as the Argoed. It sits on 10.9 acres of land. Additionally, it dates back to the 1860s. The stone home is surrounded by perfectly manicured grounds. It contains multiple private gardens and an arboretum. The estate features five reception rooms, a fully furnished attic, as well as numerous fireplaces. The grounds also include a guest house. He owns the following cars, a 1948 GMC 3100 pickup, a 1959 Chrysler Imperial Crown, a 1965 Aston Martin DB5, a Jaguar XJ, a 1972 Buick Riviera Boat Tail, A 1985 Mercedes-AMG W126.